Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where you can watch games and practice game design, and we are back with some more Kingdom Hearts. I, I keep finding out that I do weird... Oh. Ursula draws power from her cauldron. To defeat Ursula, you must strike her cauldron with magic. I'm also dying. I keep finding out that I do little things like... I, I, I have this habit of, at the start of an episode mm -hmm. um i'll often like shake my eyebrows be like especially if you're the one introducing the episode i'll just sit here being like <laughs> i'll also do the same thing on outros a lot <laughs> just don't know why some of the eyebrows man um but i do that at work sometimes too and uh like, you the that? the cto <laughs> the cto of us for kyle bailey who's an awesome dude he runs a lot of events in chicago but i digress um <laughs> but i have a great job and i digress mm -hmm. And, well, Phosphor's... I wouldn't call Phosphor a great job. I would call Phosphor a good job for me. Well, I just mean, like, you know, for you, that's what I meant. It's like, oh, I found the job I like. All right. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> in it, I, I was having a conversation with Kyle, and, uh... He said something to me. He keeps commenting on my, my hair. He keeps wanting to describe it as a side mullet. Because, <laughs> like, sometimes I'll let my hair down at work. Right. And he's like... It's basically a side mullet because it, you know, it drapes on the side. Yeah. It's like it's like the urban mullet. I'm like, thanks, Kyle. I would love <laughs> to think of my my yeah, hair as, as a an mullet. urban mullet. Yeah, <laughs> this sounds like the best thing. Um, but he said something witty to me, and I just like shook my eyebrows yeah. at him. And he was like, "All right, Chris, you're really good at that." But I want, I want like, he was like, "You know that Shaq video, that GIF of like." Shaq doing the, oh, the, the, like, like the, the body wiggle and then it like snaps to the cat, the cat doing, doing the, the body, the body wiggle. wiggle. Yep. He was like, I want that, except with, your with, eyebrows. with eyebrows and like all char a bunch of characters doing the eyebrow wiggles. Oh, yeah. He was like, I can make that for you, Kyle. Those kind of things are so funny. I, I love the Shaq, <laughs> oh, the Shaq attack too. one. It's oh, it's so, so good. good. It's so, so stinking good. Oh, love it. Best of, uh, best of memes. Best 20, of memes. 20, 16, I think. Tw 2020? 2020. 20, 2016, so in a long time from now. In a very, if the Earth can make it that far. There's something really unsettling about that that heartless monster. That big fish? It's like the those green guys are like attached at the bottom by the fucking head. <laughs> like they're babies of the big fish thing. Heartless fish. And then you kill the mama and then they all come out and they're like, oh, I gotta kill you now. Just, it, uh, it's yeah, it's it's more like they're writing it and uh, it drops them off. But like, why are they attached at the head? That's what like baby fish do to mama it's not fish. Attached to the head, it was attached to the base. Their head was attached to the bottom of that fish. I know, that's like his body. Yeah, they're like attached at the nip. That's what I'm saying. If it were dolphins, it would make sense, but they're not. So, so this is weird. It's weird. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. See? See? Isn't that a little strange to you? Not even a little bit? I mean, you know. Like, if they were here to attack you, why don't they just, like, pop off and attack while you're fighting the big fish? I You're like I like how much this weirds you out. It's just weird. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Uh. <laughs> why are they attached <laughs> to the nip while their mom gets killed? <laughs> Why don't they do something about it? They clearly have weapons. They have tridents. It's it's weird. It's life, man. It it just you know what? It's weird in the way of like thinking of some like ten year old kids still suckling their mom. God, when you put it that way, that just sounds so awful. Yeah, like, it's my, weird. It's Game my, of Thrones why, weird. Why do you have to put it that way though? Like, That's why it's weird. Them, like. like it's not my fault you don't think that word do. suckling is just a terrible word. It's not a terrible suckling. word. Suckling. It's suckling. suckling is only weird. Suckling. <laughs> suckling is only weird when you think of it in the context of like a 10 year old suckling or an adult suckling. Well, then it gets into the weird like sexual realm, too. Yeah, I'm about to say, I was like, uh, I don't know where we're going with this. Where was I? But when it's a baby, then it's not weird. Sure. Sure, Chris. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, where am I going? Shoot. Where did that originally come from? It originally come from there. I have no idea what you're doing. I think we can go this way. 
Yeah, Are we trying to find Ursula? Is that what's happening? Yeah. Trying to break her cauldron? Yeah. Is the boss her cauldron? No. But do we still break the cauldron? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good talk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know where I have to go. I'm a dummy. But that's all right. I'm already here. So we'll, just, we'll just fight some enemies. We'll fight some enemies. Enemies? I can look at Bolaki? No, I know what to do, Chris. I could, I I could hold your hand? I know what to do, Chris. I can... Chris, I know what to do. Chris. I believe in you. I, I believe in you. Let's see, what does the walkthrough say? I do not need a walkthrough, Chris. I know what I've got to do. Chris, I know what I've got to do, Chris. Says the man who needed the walkthrough in the last... Okay, I just session. forgot oh. the section. You have to, like, <laughs> go around and do something stupid, all right? We just... I know what I have to do, Chris. Knock oh off no, all no, the jellyfish no, and hit no. the big clam to let Sebastian and Flounder know everything's all right. What? No, that's know. from like the beginning of the game, Chris. It just... Oh, apparently it is. Wow, this the walkthrough for this area is pretty, pretty short. Yeah, it's not a lot. There's not a whole lot to do, but it's you know. It's just so there's two bosses. Oh, or two boss forms. Two least. boss forms, yeah. I guess that only makes sense. Hmm. 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 If I had enough, like, if magic was just one of the dash, I'd worry about watching when I'm almost dead. That's probably my biggest weakness in this game is I just don't pay attention when I'm almost dead. It is kind of off in the corner, and the audio for us is low, so you don't so, have to uh, get the audio uh, triggered. Yeah, everyone else is hearing it, be like, "Oh my god, that's so blaring!" Please, please, please heal yourself. And I'm just like, "La la la!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm almost dead. Like, yes, please stop. I usually leave the audio for the game capture pretty low too, just because like, if we can get not flagged for copyright strikes, that would be nice. Yeah, but that would be yeah. There's also like a, a fine balance of like, if the gameplay is too loud, then it becomes really difficult to hear us, and then it sort of defeats the point of us having hey, look, commentary. It's your, it's your favorite boss. It's so weird. Oh, I mean, stop oh they're kind of like the fish's propellers. Yeah, right? How weird is that? Yeah, they are. <laughs> it's like they're a ship. Is that better? Does that make you feel more comfortable now? Yes. It leaves me feeling more confused, but maybe a little more comfortable. <laughs> Well, Still doesn't change the fact that they're on like that fish is nips, even though fish don't have nips. Really, you really are stuck on that, huh? It's weak. <laughs> oh, is that gonna work? Is it gonna work with enemies around? It might not. No, <laughs> they just sirened the alarm. Yeah. Oh, it did work. Yeah. I didn't think it was gonna work. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Oh, all right, Tony. It's Kingdom cool. Hearts Three, VR. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, you wouldn't be into it. No, I mean, it might be good. I mean, like, PlayStation VR is, is pretty hot right now. Um, especially this season, Sony is boasting that they, I think, reached the 2 million mark with units sold, which is pretty significant That's for VR. Crazy. And, like, I still think that PlayStation has the weakest VR. I know, right? Well, I, I kind of agree with you on it because I just... I've had friends who have, and they're just like, yeah, it's all right, but it's, you know. But they also think it's not bad because they don't have, you know, Oculus or Vive or any of that. Well, and that's still sort of the thing with, with game distribution in general is, like, game consoles generally are weaker than a PC rig. Um, so you're technically buying inferior technology in order to play most console games. Um, now, the counter-argument is that, obviously, a gaming console is... It's specifically engineered to play a game well, whereas a computer is engineered to do a lot of different things, right. not just play games. Now, you can build a computer to specifically play games really well, but that's also beside the point. Um, <laughs> that's also not the point I'm making here today. Uh, but, I mean, that's generally why game consoles are cheaper than buying a computer. Right. Because they're using inferior hardware that's very good at doing one particular thing. So, like, a computer of the same price of a gaming console probably will play a game worse than that that console, if that makes sense. Um, See, I forgot what you do, by the way, jerk face. <laughs> um, but that said, like, PlayStation 4 
while it runs games pretty well, still has a very hard time being able to keep up with VR stuff because VR in its current state requires, you know, 60 frames per second at the at a minimum and right. generally high resolutions and just unless you have a PlayStation 4 Pro, it's probably not going to be a very good experience. No, and like and this is what everyone's been saying. It's like, "Oh, you can still have the VR without the Pro." And I'm like, "Yeah, but is it really worth it at that point?" It's to me it's sort of akin to mobile VR. And I know that's a really it's negative sounds, thing to say. <laughs> it's, it sounds like a worse comparison than I actually think it is, um, because mobile VR is not bad, um, especially if you have a good phone. Like we we built um, Brookhaven for um, the the Gear VR, and if you have a, a Galaxy S8, which is a shitty phone, uh, but it still runs games on Gear pretty okay. So if you have a Gear VR and an S8, like it's a pretty good mobile game yeah, you're, VR you're, experience. You're pretty, you're pretty good with whatever's gonna happen. Yeah, and and so it's it's a similar quality that you might get off of PSVR. It's just PSVR is a little bit more stable than maybe mm. a mobile VR experience would be. That's fair. Um, but you're getting similar resolutions. You're getting similar like optimizations that have to happen to the game art to make it run at 60 frames per second. Although, I guess mobile VR probably has less restrictions on frame rate. I think Brookhaven, we probably hover around 45. Oh, really? Wow. Maybe maybe it is up to 60. If you're using an S6, it's probably 45. But S6s kind of suck anyway. More so than an S8. Fair <laughs> enough, man. But yeah, so I, I guess... The nice thing, though, about PSVR being so successful is that it's bringing VR to becoming a more commonplace thing. Um, arguably more more commonplace than something like the Xbox Kconnect, which that was... It was a good idea. It was a it, good idea, but I think it was just a little too early for something like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and I think it was it well, was well just like the PlayStation what was it called the Move or whatever it was called well and that's part of my issue with PlayStation VR is that it uses Move controllers yeah and Move is just not I don't, I don't think Move is very successful like no. there's some fun games to play on there I'm not saying that the best game with it is a PC game uh, that you just hook up the Move controllers to and that's Which... Johann Sebastian oh Joust. yeah oh my God Johann Sebastian and Joust is absolutely the best game it's for it's it. fantastic and it's like a not proper use of those controllers. No, it's really not. No. <laughs> oh, I was like, what's the red thing on the back of Donald's head? And then it was Sebastian. Oh. Uh, how much time? We got? Two minutes. Oh, uh, we'll not do that, but that's okay. <laughs> 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 ah! I hope, though, that with the newest release of the Sony consoles, uh, because PlayStation 5 is probably only a, at least a year away from being Dude, announced. how awful is that, by the way, that like we're already looking at the next generation of consoles, and I feel like, just like with every system, I feel like they're finally getting into their groove of what, you know, what kind of games should be on here, and it's like, great, 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 great. Well, there's a lot of consideration to have here. So, PlayStation 4, it officially released... Find it... Maybe I should just search Wikipedia. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> just search Wikipedia. You're very good at searching Wikipedia. All right. The PS4 release date was... They really don't want to tell me. <laughs> They're really... Oh, here we go. Uh, February 22nd, 2014. So console lifespans generally go f anywhere between three to six years, give or take. Okay. Um, and so PS4 has been out for three years at this point. Actually, no, it's it, almost four years. Almost four, yeah. Um, and if Sony were to announce a the development of the PS5, it's probably not going to release until around December of 2018. Oh, 18. Ah, oh, yes, yeah. It, I mean, at least, if not 2019, right? So that's five to six years then of that lifespan. I don't think that that's such a bad thing. If anything, um, game consoles are hindered on, or they're, they're held back by consumer um, disdain for quick release cycles. And, and 
I, I'm 100% behind that disdain, right? Because I don't want to spend $400 and then a year later spend another $400 right, for an upgraded ex version. Ex exactly. And, and developers don't want to make games for that either. That's a very unpredictable and not cost-effective way to make games. Um, it loses yeah. a lot of stability that's super important that's, for the that's industry. That's super, super important, absolutely. And, and that's especially why it's important for Sony to like give a at least a year's heads up to be like, yo, yo next console's happening. coming out in a year, be ready for it. Um, if not two years, that way at yeah, least some just, devs can make games for it. It's like, because you feel like once the game, like once the system really starts getting into its prime, all of a sudden, oh, absolutely. That's it. And, and Nintendo is especially bad at that with their handheld devices. Like, there were freaking like four or five iterations of the, of the 3DS, um, all that support different things. And it's like, great, I don't know which one I should get. Yeah, right, do I go with the XL? Do, do I get the DS? Do I get the 3DS? Do I get the XL? Do I get the 2DS? Yeah, what should I do? Too many options, stop it! Um, but the, the downside is is that, you know, say say there is a better technology out there. Like, PS Move is sort of in that vein of, like, no one wants to buy a new PS Move set with their PSVR. They would rather just buy the PSVR and use their existing PS Move stuff. Um, so if, if Sony came out with, you know, a PlayStation VR controller... Right... Like, PlayStation Touch controllers, um, then, you know, would they be shooting themselves in the foot by requiring, you know, players to now buy this better version of the controller, and, you know, would would, would people even buy it? Right, yeah, would they have been, that's fair, that's fair. It's, it's sort of in the same vein of, like, the initial Xbox Kinect compared to the Xbox 360 Kinect, I don't remember when the, there was a second Kinect that came out at some point and people weren't so into it. Maybe it was for the Xbox One. Um, but yeah, either the case. Hard, yeah. Hardware turnaround times are really tough on, on consumers and on limiting what the actual manufacturers can put out and how quickly they can iterate their, their machines. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. It's not a really easy fight, having magic. Because like usually when I play as a not magic person, this fight is... A lot more difficult because then you have to hit, take more hits from her instead of using your spells as much. But I have so much more MP now. Yeah, maybe this is that turning point. Sure, Late game where right. you're leveling up faster than you normally would. Mermaid kick! But you're not a mermaid. Well, no, but now I can swim against those fast currents. You're more like a Dolph man. Yep. Dolph man. Okay, so I guess that's it for this episode, though. Oh, right. Yeah, we should end this episode because we're over time. <laughs> yeah, so, question of the day. <laughs> question of the day. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, hardware release dates yeah, and, right. and iterations? It's not super game designy, but, but it's, it's, it's game adjacent. Yeah, I mean, it's related to the game industry as a whole. Oh, absolutely. It, when you're making games, you really have to be cognizant of that stuff, too, because it, it can really hurt developers. In, in a way, that could even be why not a lot of people made games for the Vita. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I know, so sad. Yeah. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done that either. And we'll see you in the next episode. You'll really fight her so Bye. See you guys.